The award-winning play De Kink in My Hair is making the transition from stage to small screen this weekend with the debut of the new half-hour show this Sunday right here on Global. And joining us this morning is playwright, creator, and star of De Kink in My Hair, Trey Anthony. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you for having me. This has got to be very exciting for you to actually see it. There it is on the screen on television. Yes, it's very surreal, very exciting, but very surreal. Now, how do you go about taking something that is a successful stage show and turning it into a, a sitcom, essentially? Basically for us, we really looked at what worked in the play. What was the thing that really drew audiences? And so we took all of the most exciting and creative elements from the stage and just said, okay, let's bring them to TV. You know, was it frustrating for you when, when you wrote this play, the, the, the sort of stories that you tell in your show just weren't out there? I mean, they're not on stage, they're not on television. That was one of the biggest reasons for writing the play, was just this urgency within me to see myself accurately portrayed in the media, on television, be it on stage, and to tell stories, because a lot of times, as black women especially, we don't see ourselves in the media. And when we do see ourselves, it's very stereotypical. So I just thought, you know what, I want to tell stories that women could be really proud of, the community could be really proud of, and that they're authentic and real, and that we're very well-rounded characters. And I think that's what really drew people to the play. And now hopefully the television series. And for those of us not in that community, yeah. it, it gives us a window inside a, a world that we don't see. Definitely. I, I think because, you know, Canada is such a multicultural society and, and this gives us a chance to say, okay, who are these people? What are their stories? Let us know. We're all really part of just one big melting pot. And I, I think it really gives like the mainstream audience a glimpse into this community and, and a very authentic and real, funny, comedic, dramatic look into um, that community as well. What is it about the hair salon that makes it a <laughs> confessional? What is it about that? I think every woman will tell you, like, once you sit down in your hairdresser's chair, it's just like, you just want to tell her your whole life, your whole world. Like, I know when I go to my hairdresser, like, she's the one who's going to write the tell-all book on Trey Anthony. She, she knows, she knows she's got all the, the dark, deep she's got secrets. The, she's got the scoop on me. And I think it's just because you kind of feel relaxed, and there's someone doing your hair and taking care of you, and there's this kind of nurturing quality. So I think as women, we just kind of say, oh, this is my time, and this is my time to talk to her. And so your, your hairdresser becomes like your therapist piss your mother, your best friend, and you Well, just not help. to mention your mate, because you ever try and cheat on your hairstylist? No, you go you somewhere else? No, you, no, can't. you can't do no. that. Especially because of the success of the show. I've had all of these hairdressers go, come on, come on, come on. Right. And I'm like, no. You can't. Like, I can't leave my hairdresser. Like, that's my hairdresser. I, I can't cheat on her. It, no. It truly is for better <laughs> or for worse. That's right. No, I'm sticking with her till the end. That's it. For, for those who don't know, the, the, the show is set in the salon, yes. and it's sort of about the lives of these women and mm -hmm. what they go through. Exactly. And also the, the extended family novel, it's the main character of the show, and it also focuses on the Nucleus family, be her sister Joy, her son Dre, and then the extended characters, her family of Star and Nigel, who are um, hairdressers who work in the salon. Well, I know we're all really looking forward to seeing it Thank this you. weekend. Trey Anthony is a playwright, creator, and star of The Kink in My Hair. The show premieres on Sunday. Sunday, 7.30 on Global. Thanks so much for being Thanks here. Thanks so this much morning. for having me.